Good evening, I'm Madison Carmouche. The Wolf County Search and Rescue hosted a basic search and rescue training for departments across the state. WYMT's RJ Johnson shares how trainings like these make a difference for emergency situations. As the seasons change and more people are outdoors, officials with the Wolf County Search and Rescue Squad, like Chief John May, are making sure they are up to date with trainings for different emergency situations. Uh, they range in severity. You know, sometimes people are just lost. Uh, we don't really consider them that lost. They just don't know where they are, but we can get a coordinate. They may even still be on a trail, but they just ran out of daylight. Uh, don't know how to navigate after dark and those kind of things. Some of those we can take care of over the phone. But sometimes it might be a life-threatening situation they have to work through. But then unfortunately we have more severe incidents like we've had over the past couple of weeks. A gentleman that slid off the side of Indian staircase almost went off the side of a cliff, which was about a 100-foot cliff at that point. So we had to use some rope work. Uh, we kind of specialized in technical rope rescue, swift water rescue, but uh, we've sent some of our rope techs in to rig a system to get down to him safely and then extract him away from that cliff ledge. Training officer Eric Lutkinoff says it's also important for first responders to continue their trainings. Uh, we train probably uh, three to four times a month sometimes. Um, this is starting to get into our training uh, season. Um, so we teach uh, high angle rope rescue. We do swift water classes. You know, who knows what next week's going to bring. So continuously training, continuously honing our skills is really what's going to make us better rescuers. In the meantime, May says to also be aware of your surroundings and know your limits when outdoors. Just pay attention to your surroundings. Uh, I say all the time a cliff line has never killed anyone. The cliff is, you know, a stationary object. You know, it doesn't jump out and bite you or jump out and push you off a cliff. It's people getting too close to the edge of the cliff and they slip or lose their balance and then they tumble off. In Wolf County, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. May says it is important to download maps and make sure you have lights in the event that you get lost after dark. A London woman is facing charges after deputies say she assaulted another woman. Deputies responded to a welfare check on Wednesday. That's when they learned 35-year-old Danielle Burton had assaulted another woman by shoving her to the ground. They said Burton was rep reportedly out of control. She's being charged with fourth-degree assault. Kentucky's gun ownership laws could soon change to favor people with felony convictions. The attorney general is appealing to a ruling on the Second Amendment. Right now, felons in Kentucky cannot legally possess guns. Last week, a Jefferson County Circuit Court judge ruled that violates the Second Amendment. Attorney General Coleman says he is confident the Court of Appeals will reverse the judge's decision. Social media can be a positive thing when it comes to connecting with one another and learning more about the world. But when it comes to medical advice or symptom searching, it can often leave us more anxious than we were before. Dr. Erica Omoldover is a general surgeon at Baptist Health Corbin. She says the biggest issue that comes from turning to social media for medical inquiries is misinformation. Definitely been a shift in the questions and the type of information that the general public has access to based off of social media. But I have heard some of my younger patients say, oh, on TikTok or on Instagram, I heard so-and-so got their gallbladder out and they had XYZ problem. Dr. Alma Dover says algorithms know when we're falling down that rabbit hole of information. So when you notice that happening, it is important to take a step back and turn to those trusted sources or your own doctor for the information you're searching for. Kentucky Children's Hospital is working to make sure kids are comfortable with doctors and understand the treatment they're getting by taking care of Teddy. Doctors encourage kids to bring their favorite toy for treatment today. The kids get to step into the doctor's role, taking care of their stuffed animals in different treatment areas to make them more comfortable with the doctor. Giving them a safe environment where they can explore the equipment, see how it works, touch it, feel it, use it, it makes them less scared when they actually have it used on them. If you missed today's event, there are some other ways you can normalize a trip to the doctor for your child. Experts recommend buying a toy doctor's kit and showing them how to use it so at their next appointment, they're familiar with all of the doctor's tools. 
One Eastern Kentucky family is working to get kids ready for the holiday one week before Easter Sunday. Paula Butcher and her husband Danny went throughout the county, went throughout Johnson County, bringing the Easter Bunny to kids to help spread Easter spirit. Danny started doing this six years ago and has been doing events like this for the kids ever since. Paula says it is a way to share the true meaning behind Easter. And the Easter Bunny gets all the hop for Easter when it's all about the resurrection of Jesus. And what better way to celebrate than to bring the true meaning to the kids out here that's not going to get it. Paula says to see the kids' eyes light up and spreading the word of God is the best part of it all.